Hi, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to the 2010 detailed breakdown of the brand new Revit Victory suit. Revit's top end suit for this year, it's being worn by Alvaro Batista, it's being worn by Randy DePunier in MotoGP, it's being worn by Simone Corsi in Moto2, it's also being worn by Nate Kern, who is the BMW S1000RR ambassador and test rider. It's been being worn for the, the entire year. So I have Patrick here, he's wearing a size 48. Patrick is about, how tall are you Patrick? 5'9". So you're 5'9", 165. 38 inch chest, Patrick is wearing comfortably a 48. If you'll notice, you do have a little bit of stretch across the front, and that's because this is a pro level suit. This is a very aggressive pre-shape. The, the position that this suit wants to be in is not standing straight up, is not off the bike walking around. The position that this suit wants to be in both in the knees and the torso is in an aggressive tuck. We'll get to that in a second. Basically, look at the exterior of this suit. It's all full grain cowhide. You have a great perforation scheme down the front, perforation screen along the sides. You're gonna notice all the these panels in the insides of the arms down all the way through the crotch down the insides of the legs and you see them on the back when we turn him around as well they're gonna be they're gonna be Kepratech stretch panels so basically what they're gonna do is besides flowing air they're gonna aid in that pre-shaping they're gonna aid in stretch when you are in the riding position it's a great new design this is the black white version so it's black with white accents the suit also comes in white and red and it also comes in a red white and blue option and that's what Nate's well, Nate is uh, wearing this year you're going to see, again, from an ergonomic standpoint, moving down the front, you're going to see something that's a trend with Revit, is elasticated stretch panels in the knees. You start to see them start on the sides. We'll get to that in a second. They're going to stretch around the back. From a protection standpoint, on the front, aside from full grain, 1.2 to 1.4 cowhide, you're going to have the TPU honeycomb injected external sliders. Basically, these are dual compound, dual composite. So you're going to see on the black version, you actually see the honeycomb. The honeycomb is designed to absorb shock. Now you have the aluminum external hard part which is designed for the slide. Everybody knows that when you have a get off on the track, you don't want to tumble. When you tumble, bad things happen. That's when you break, when you dislocate, when they carry you off. If you can get off the bike and get into a slide position, you want to get on those honey or on those aluminum pieces. They're going to allow you to slide on the ground. The hump is designed. It's a GP style hump, but again, it's tapered. It's designed to slide. When you're sliding on your back in this suit, notice you have the slider on the elbow too. You minimize your chances for really doing great deals of bodily harm to your body. You're going to notice here now that we're on the side, you have this great, lift up your arm for me. We have this great elasticated stretch panel here. You also on the back of the elbow have an elasticated stretch panel there. Again, I mentioned the slider with the honeycomb on the back of the elbow. You do have CE rated forearm and elbow protection, you know, underneath as well. So it's going to be at the shoulder. It's going to be at the elbow forearm as well as at the knee. The knee cup on this guy goes really, really deep. But basically, this knee protection is going to come down. It's going to stop all the way down your shin. Everything on these guys, it's going to be safety stitched. It's going to be seam sealed. It's all in the attention to details. When you got, have guys that are pro level guys wearing these suits that are crashing you know, north of 120, 130, 140 miles an hour, you can't afford to have any seam on this guy that's going to be the weak point. And you talk to racers all the time. They talk about the protection. They talk about the armor. That's what to the public people say, oh, well, this one's really beefed up. It really comes down to how well are the weakest pieces put together? What's the weakest link in the chain? And on any suit that anybody makes, that's always going to be the seams. So you know when it's safety stitched, when it's seam sealed, you know that's going to hold up. Notice neoprene on the cuff here. I'm going to actually, Patrick, I'm going to spin you around backwards. Go ahead and turn for me. So you're going to notice on the back here, we have a big exhaust port on the bottom of the hump. There are two intakes on the top of the hump. It's basically what they call a plumbed hump. You can stay where you are. We're going to show a close up on it. It's going to suck air in. There's going to be 3D, 3D bubble liner on the inside of this guy, which creates an, an air barrier between your body and the suit to aid in sweat wicking, aid in evaporation, and then the suit's going to pull in air. It's going to circulate in here. It's going to get sucked out through the uh, exhaust port creating that great Venturi effect. You're going to notice big Revit logo across the back. Everything's stitched here. This guy's basically sewn in and designed right on the bioelasticated panels. Patrick, hit a riding position for me real quick. What you're going to notice is you have the stretch that I showed you earlier, but you have the big stretch panel across the lumbar. You're also going to have that stretch all the way up in here. So this can accommodate somebody that has different shaping um, through the midsection. You notice the stretch chest here as well. You have some perforation across the top. Patrick, turn backwards again. Turn completely backwards. I want to go down. The seat's completely reinforced, it's padded, and you also notice that those Kepratech stretch panels 
go all the way down the inside of the leg, they go along the back of the calves. You know, a lot of guys have different size calves and they know they need to be accommodating. It's gonna have a full zipper that's gonna go down to the ankle. Obviously, these are designed to be worn inside the boots, so we have them tucked in as well. Price one on this guy, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's $12.99. Once again, this is the Premier Suit from Revit. You know, it's extra protection elements. We have some temper foam in there as well. Available in three colors from Revzilla.com. If you wanna to talk to us a little bit about where this guy stacks up in the range of high-end suits from A-Stars from Dianese, we're very happy to do it. Um, other than that, you can, you can see that it's a very aggressive pro-level suit. So basically we've covered the exterior in great detail on this suit, now I want to move to the interior. This is the correct slider for this guy, and as you can see these are a little bit worn. This is actually my suit. This is a size 52. For my height I'd probably be a 50, but I have a 43 inch chest so I'm wearing a 52. Um, these are mine, this is the dual compound slider, the pro level slider that's going to come with this guy. As we move to the inside you're going to see a couple things, I'm only going to touch on them briefly. First thing is going to be this long red zipper that goes around. It's basically connected to the suit liner, which is Velcro at all the limbs. Basically, this sanitized antimicrobial liner is completely removable, completely washable. It's a mix of mesh. You can see it in the crotch. It's got tighter weave mesh. It has some pockets built in. You're going to notice that under the arms, it has this great wicking sanitized material that's stretchy. Everybody's built a little different. That's a high range of motion area. And the big feature is going to be this 3D bubble mesh they're using across the back the back, which is going to interface with the race hump. Basically, what 3D mesh always does is it creates a honeycomb structure of mesh, pulls it away from your body, creates space, creates air pockets. What air pockets allow you to do is normalize your climate with your body, with the suit, with the outside. And it's much easier than something sitting directly against your skin, which is just going to make you sweat and make you perspire. But basically what this suit will do is that it's going to wick away sweat, it's going to allow it to evaporate, and it's going to give you the best chance for the cooling air coming in through the speed hump, which as you can see at the top, two two intake ports here with the Revit logo, Speed Hub's gonna pull in air and it's gonna flow it right here to the side or to the back. I right, have one more treat in this video and this is something that I know is exclusive for Revzilla, something nobody else has. I have a crashed victory suit. I have Nate Kern's suit, he gave it to us. Actually, it's, this is, it's gonna stop with us and then make its way to Revit. Basically, this is the suit that they cut off Nate. When he crashed New Jersey Motorsport Speedway, I believe it was in May, 120 miles an hour, turn four into the chicane. Um, both wheels actually lost traction at the same time. He bonked his head, ended up on his elbow, was unconscious at 120, slid 60 yards on the track before exiting onto the grass. So he basically went 180 feet completely unconscious with nothing but his gear to save his life. You notice that the elbow took a massive impact. You see it here, see the, uh, the scrapes from the ground, completely punched in, the honeycomb did its job, it absorbed the impact, and then the, and then the aluminum slid. He was also, he tucked on his right side, so you can also see that he did heavy damage along the aluminum hard part in the shoulder. Impact was huge, went down, slid a great distance on it, it did its job, it held up. Nate walked away with no major injuries except for a minor concussion when he bonked his head on the ground. And any racer will tell you it's all about the weakest parts, which are the seams. You'll notice as I pull this guy up, as I flip it around, we actually have some other video of Nate actually talking about the crash and about the suit. This thing was drug under the bike for 180 feet at 120 miles an hour before he hit the grass. He had no spots that really came through in a major way. Everything stayed together. The taped safety stitch seams did their job in this pro level suit. The first thing he did was call Revit and say, wow, your suit did a phenomenal job. Please send me another one. Nate also, to his credit, is wearing an off the rack suit. So this suit, while it has all of his logos, all the BMW stuff, all of his sponsors, this is a basically off the rack Revit victory suit in the red, white, and blue color scheme. We have it. It's completely beat to hell. He crashed in it. He could have died in it. He didn't. The suit did its job. It kept him in the slide. He was under the bike. He woke up in the hospital, or I think the back of the ambulance with the suit cut off of him, but uh, continues to be an evangelist for Revit to this day. If you have any questions about the Victory suit, about the colors, about the sizing, about the features and functionality, call us, 877-792-9455. Shoot us a line at cs at revzilla.com. As with anything that we sell over 39 bucks, it's gonna ship for free. If you take a stab at a suit and you think it's not the right size, send it back to us. We'll ship you the first exchange for free as well. Try to take some of that risk out of buying online. We know suits can be a touchy thing. Also for a suit like this, you're gonna earn 30 bucks back in Teamzilla cash to apply to your next order. It's kind of our loyalty program. You can save uh, for every 100 bucks up to 600 bucks, um, $5 for every 100 that we automatically apply. I'm Anthony. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully you got some great information about the Victory Suit. We'll see you next time on Revzilla TV.